Gamers, it's the Mandor Fool. Much more. Let's play Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and Crystal. Um, in this episode, I'm gonna try to get some pre-recorded footage and some extra side quests. So in the next 24 hours, we could have something ready that I don't want to spoil just yet. Go time. Should we be red? Shouldn't you be a red card? I don't know. We use water again. Um, Team Rocket uses, uses normal, flying, and poison type. Um, Team Aqua, of course, uses water, and Team Magma uses dark and fire. Team Galactic from Diamond and Pearl uses, if I remember, flying, psychic, and I think Gyarados was water dragon, I believe. Um, and their main Pokemon is, sorry about that, is Dialga and Palkia. Executive Proton is about to send in Puffy! Wheezing! Puffy! That was from the second episode of Pokemon, season one, and it tap, 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 tap. Alright, um, let's see his rapid spin, I wanna see this. Yeah, that's the worst animation ever. Sorry, it was poisoned. Um, why is it the Staryu is always getting poisoned? Um, Tentacle is a... Well, Tentacle you can unlock on the um, pond in Pokey Walker. But in a couple, after Goldenrod and Ecruteak City on the Johto map, we're going to get into Tentacle and Tentacle. But um, first off... Tentacle is a water poison type. It knows um, Toxic, Poison Spike, um, I believe Water Gun, and Tackle. It's a normal water type with, actually it's a water poison type, what am I saying? With um, good defense, good attack, and when it evolves into Tentacruel, that thing is a monster. It's just too much to handle. And that was it, Critical Head. Critical Head is something that uh, ignores status or ignores... HP and um, HP, speed, defense, special defense, all the stats are ignored, and it gives you more than what you should usually have in a single hit. That's what a critical hit does, so if you're lucky, you can get a critical hit. Let me lower the camera. Alright, and then Kurt comes down here. Can you go any slower? You didn't do anything. Hurts. Hey, way to go, Manny. Hey, I wonder if there's anything we can find in the Slowpoke well. You can look it up in Bulbapedia for me, and I'll check it out later. And it shows... Hey, here's someone walking out, and yet we're still here. Hurt. Hey, really, as I mentioned before, Team Rocky was just banned by a boy called Red three years ago. So this is some kind of parallel dimension where Ash has some kind of counterpart. We have to figure that out. Paradox. Okay. Obtain the fastball. Okay, so we got more than we got five types of pokeballs now. Hurt. You have the apricot for me. Fight I'll turn it into a pokeball. Um, I want. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Wait. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's have the want a black apricorn turned into a pokeball. Wait. Yes. Yes. Take it. Kurt, oh, take a day to make you a Pokeball. Come back for it later. So what we're going to do is save the game, turn it off, and in one day, if we come back, that's right, I'll give it to my grandmother's number. Okay. So that's what she does. Like, apparently, she's the uh, receptionist or some kind of um, secretary. I'm not being sexist. She's just, you know, giving a number out, okay? Um, what is, let's talk to Kurt. I'm working. Don't bother me. Okay. So he'll have it ready in a day. Um, every step you take, you will lose HP. Let me go ahead and show you. Staryu was poisoned, so he has 5 HP right now. So if I take a step and the screen shakes again, watch this. His HP goes down every time the screen shakes. If the Pokemon survives, the, if, I think if it's out, it'll survive the poisoning. Staryu survive the poisoning. Yeah, I think if you have it out, it can't faint if it's already out. Um, not that I know of, but... Um, that's one way to stop your Pokemon from fainting. 
if you don't have any revives and all you have is uh, potions, that's a good way to stop your Pokemon from fainting. Go ahead and heal. Now that the gym is open, um, we're going to start covering the first half of the gym. We got the Apricorns ready. Um, it will only take about a day. You can also move the calendar to make things go faster, but we're not going to do that. It wasn't until 4th generation Diamond and Pearl when you can actually change the calendar, change the days. In this um, game, there's night and day. So, uh, also in the 2nd generation game. Let's go ahead and get started on the gym here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the farthest to the right, I guess. I don't remember this puzzle exactly. No, that's wrong. Um, if you haven't guessed, this is a bug type gym, so fire type is excellent to have for the kind of battles that we're gonna be facing coming up next. Here we go, trainer battle. you come all this way, greeting the well, like, Pokemon. I'll allow you to teach you the challenges of the Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know. Caterpie. This is a, um, I've already introduced Caterpie. Um, Caterpie is a bug type Pokemon, so it's weak to strong fire attacks or strong special attack with fire. Critical hit. It's super effective, so it's a double hit, or a double, it's a critical and a super effective. And Magni is about to uh, level up right now. In the last episode, I said um, I didn't want my um, Kakuna to evolve. It's not that I don't want it to evolve. What I meant to say was I don't want it to level up. Because after level 20, um, basically what the badge does is by earning gym badges, not only will it allow you to enter the Elite Four and earn your way to the top, it's also a way of your Pokemon obeying you. Say you have a Pokemon that's level 25, and you only have one badge, it will not obey you because you don't have enough badges for its status and its stats to follow up to your commands. Sometimes it will ignore you, loaf around, or just do other things. So in order for us to uh, obey up to level 30 and to get the HM and TM from this gym, we have to battle it out. Um, I said we're gonna get halfway through the gym, so let's go ahead and get to the next battle. What doesn't make sense is there is a entire stadium out here for bug type Pokemon, and it's a tiny little gym in the middle of town. I don't understand that, but I don't know. Rock's gym was huge, and from the outside it looks as if it's just a little courtyard with a brick wall, you know. Weedle. Um, if you're playing Pokemon Fire Red, I would recommend Caterpie. Weedle doesn't matter, but if, you're, if it doesn't matter if you're playing either one, but if you're playing Blue, for some reason I would just recommend Weedle. If you're a fan of the anime, go that way. Um, we're going to be doing Fire Red and Leaf Green. If I, you know, there's another, there's another sequel to this or the previous third generation game, which I could show, I might show, but I'm not sure. Wow, I wasn't even thinking about fire, and I had a fire type ready out, so. This is a great part for Magni. Ugh, this is a great way for Magni to level up. And why is the screen pink down there? I'm sorry. It's not pink, it's magenta. It's, uh. It's vermilion. It's super effective. Fury attack. There's actually a really. Weird joke about that, and people on their fetishes. Fetishes is. I don't know what you call it. The plural for fetish, anyway. Fetishy? Fetishini! No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, there's a really weird joke that you don't want to know about Fury Attack, because. Well, a certain Guts player brought it up, but I'm not going to. Yay! Hit three times, hope you was hurt by burn! Wow, am I gonna get the experience points? Just yep. Wow. Level up twice in battle. Let's see. HP max two, attack max two, defense one, special attack. 
I think one special. I don't know. I, I didn't finish reading the stats. Dang, that's a lot for a bug type. I guess fire type would get the advantage here. Alright. So that does it for this episode. Anyway, it's been the Mandor 4, and I'll see you guys later. If you enjoyed my videos, subscribe. See you guys then.